So this is all of my opinion about the zoning system in Indonesia. Do you agree with my opinion? and already using the brand new system. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning everyone, good evening, good afternoon, good anytime you watch this video And first of all, let me introduce myself My name is Hani Jaya Intan Pratiwi and you can call me Hani In this occasion, I will give my opinion about the latest issue in Indonesia education That is the zoning policy do you know guys what is the zoning policy? So, according on the Permendikbud number 51 2018, it means that the selection is done by giving priority for students who live near the school location. This policy set the new students to choose the nearest school. They have three options of nearest school choices. If the distance is not in the same, the priority is passed on the registration time. It means that someone who registered early have more chance to be able to be accepted. This system done based on the ranking of zoning and value, the age of the learners and the registration time. From this explanation, do you agree guys with this system? Because in my opinion, this system has several deficiencies that makes the learners have some difficulty in choosing their new school. There will be two sets in every policy, that is negative and positive one. The positive effects of this system is that the parents have easiness to control and watch over their children because of the near distance. By this reason, they can minimize the problem of teenager mischief. By applying the system, the people can save more money for the students' transportation so that can help the economy of the family. This system is also hoped by the government to make equality education in Indonesia. There is no favorite and less of a favorite school anymore. Besides the positive effects, there are many negative effects. In my opinion, the negative effects are the students who have a bad score in UN can divide the student who have a good score in UN just because of the near locations. The zoning system doesn't give a good chance for the students to get a better education because of the system. This causes the input for the school is not in good quality and can affect in the equality graduation. Although the government applied the equality for school, but in fact, the school that has a good track record and has complete infrastructure more can support the learning and teaching process. It can be seen in the school that doesn't have them. So, the conclusion, if the government want to apply this zoning, the government should prepare it well and continuity. The preparation is based on the infrastructure in the whole area of Indonesia and government should improve the quality of the teachers. So, this is all of my opinion about the zoning system in Indonesia. Do you agree with my opinion or may you have another opinion? I hope you all get the benefit from this video. Thank you for watching and good luck and happy holiday!
it is a zona C zona C zona. Operations is based on the the government.